Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Go Vier, Go Home. I've had a lot of questions lately about how I actually did this peeling paint kind of look on my bridge. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but I'm going to show you what I did and how you can achieve a similar look on your equipment that needs to be peeling and chipped and uh, a little bit older looking. Let's take a look. <laughs> Okay, so we are here in my laundry room, and uh, I've got this sink here where, like, you know, I wash my paint brushes and whatnot. Uh, this is this is just like the other bridge. I've got three of these. I've already done a flat black primer on here. This is basically the underside. The color really doesn't matter at this point because it's just based off of what color bridge you want to do, what you want the base color to be, what you want the underside color to be. This is really just a demonstration of how to give it that, um, you know, peeling paint, old old paint look uh, overall. Uh, and again, there's there's many ways to do this, but uh, I'll show you how I how I do it. Uh, now I do use regular baking soda. This is just Arm and Hammer brand. Uh, it's whatever thing. It was like a dollar fifty for that box. Uh, other people have suggested to use. Uh, coarse salt. I don't have any coarse salt on hand, so the baking soda will have to do. Uh, I do have a spoon so that I can, you know, obviously put baking soda on the spoon and then kind of sprinkle it onto where I want it weathered. And then I've got a spray bottle of just regular water. So uh, let's let's get started here. I'm going to show you what we're going to do and how we're going to do this. Okay, so we take the uh, bridge, and of course we're over the uh, the sink here, because we do not want to make a mess. This isn't really something that I would do at my bench work, just because of the water and whatnot. And, uh, you know, you don't have to soak it. It doesn't have to be super, super wet, but you want to make sure that the area that you're going to be doing will have some moisture on it. Okay, so on the wet areas here, I'm just going to there isn't really a exact like a science to this because uh because the baking soda is a little thicker, it does make it hard to control especially on a spoon like this, but it's just how, again, how I'm doing it. There's no real way to this that I've seen. So what happens is that the moisture, the wet, soaks into the, uh, the baking soda there, leaving a, uh, a film, basically on the actual uh, structure, I guess you could say. And uh, then what happens is that you have to let it dry, obviously, but once it dries, you're able to basically put paint right over top of the baking soda. So you want to remember to get all the sides, the top and the bottom, wherever there's going to be the most wear. I, I didn't really do the bottom, like the bottom side of my other bridge. So it's not a huge deal because it's, it's pretty low to the, uh, the actual ground anyways. Wasn't a big deal or focus point for me. Now 
All right, so I'm gonna do up the rest of this. I'm gonna do the tops, the sides, uh, and whatnot, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look once I've got all the powder on. Okay, so there you have it. So now that the, uh, the baking soda is on there, uh, there's not too much water. It's just, it's gonna have to dry for a little bit. So it usually takes, uh, from what I saw with my last one, it took about an hour to two hours just to dry. Uh, you don't really need to leave it any longer than that. And then we can move on to the spray painting. Okay, so we're here at my spray booth. Um, this is a color that I'm gonna be using. It's uh, Krylon Color Max Oxidized Red Primer. I've got my trusty little uh, holster here and I basically I can just you know like a gun you just pull the trigger and it sprays it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna coat this because that's all dry now so I'm just gonna do a doesn't have to be a, an amazing spray job it just has to basically cover most of that and because there's a lot of different angle pieces you want to make sure you get all the different angles and because that is what i'm going to basically just use this here it's not going to get my hands all dirty or covered in paint so whoops need two hands for this Okay, and we are back. Uh, it has been painted, and uh, basically, you can still see that there's, it's almost like a chunky kind of uh, finish to it there, all the way around. I've got this old toothbrush here, uh, and basically, I just kind of go like this, and it reveals the color underneath. Uh, you, you can go heavy on this, you can go light on it. Whoa. Gotta glue that a little bit better. But overall, it almost gives you that peeling kind of look. want to make sure that there's none of that white stuff showing because obviously there's no white on the actual rust. The water helps it to loosen it a little bit. Okay, so there you go. There's all three bridges. They're up on their piers. This one has a, a little bit of white uh, crusting to it, but that'll I'll be able to get rid of that once I add the, uh, the uh, coloring, or I gotta wash that off a little bit better. But these two seem okay here. I'm gonna add some more weathering to it. This is just the base. Again, there's uh, 
a lot of options that you can do to make yours look just as good or even possibly way better than what I did here. But it's just an idea, something to to make you think and to get you to try something different, maybe something that you originally didn't feel comfortable with, but um, yeah, try it out. You know, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. But uh, stay tuned, I've got a bonus clip for you. And that's coming up now.